Garmin Sharp also showing interest, uh, but uh, so many teams vying for the best possible position. We have got a chicane just over one kilometre to go, and that will be an important part, and every team member uh, and every team will want to get a best position possible there. Two minutes back to the Wiggins group, it's academic at this point, really, and of uh, little value showing them. They're not showing any interest themselves in trying to get back up there. Cannondale on the right-hand side. They've got Belkin on the left, so the lying green of uh, Cannondale. And now we see uh, BMC trying to work their way back up to the front. It looks as if uh, Ben Swift is uh, doing it on his own for Sky, trying to find the right wheel. And there's, uh, this is a difficult moment as the riders sweep left. And lots of uh, riders trying to dive bomb down the inside. Other riders getting squeezed out on the right. But it looks as if they've all made it through there Rancho. safely. And uh, now there's a little bit of a gap uh, has uh, developed at the front inside the final two kilometres. Renshaw is, uh, goes for uh, Belkin, so uh, he got into the best possible position. And uh, you can just see his teammates across the front of the peloton. One kilometre to go. Renshaw well, has got about 30 metres now and everybody looking behind. It's up to you guys to chase. We've got a rider in front and he's really given it 100% now. What a gap here for Mark Renshaw, the man who has uh, made his reputation as a lead-out man who's been a sprinter for the last couple of years uh, for this squad now with their Belkin sponsorship he's uh, off to Amiga Pharma quick step uh, next year and he has got what looks like a winning gap so the man that was a sprinter looks like he's a uh, last ditch solo attacker and Mark Rancho surprising everyone with this one soloing to victory in the first stage of the Enico Tour he's inside the uh, finishing barriers will he be able to hang on as the uh, bunch is scattered to the four winds behind in its efforts to try and get organised and Rancho is inside the final 250 metres, the big cheer goes up because they realise that it's a man from Belkin Pro Cycling is going to take the first uh, stage win in this year's Enico Tour. He just has to try and keep those pedals going to the line. His rifle looks like he's going to close out the uh, bunch sprint, but it's not going to be for the win because Renshaw gets his hands in the air. He takes the victory in stage one. Greipel in second place uh, edges out the uh, bunch sprint. Wonderful performance by uh, all in the uh, bunch sprint, but what a surprise. What a wonderful effort from Mark Renshaw. And, uh, wow, well, that's a shock, really. And I think that, I uh, wonder, is that the first time he's done that in his career? He gets uh, the slaps on the back from his teammates. What a wonderfully pieced together job from the Belkin team. And was that the plan uh, all along? Well, one wonders. But uh, there's no doubt about the man that has taken the victory in the first stage of the Enico Tour. That's Mark Renshaw of Australia. And with it uh, will go the yellow jersey of race leader. He's got uh, 10 seconds uh, bonus. He's also got a few seconds advantage uh, on the bunch. And, uh, well, he looks uh, very cool, calm and collected. And the victories didn't come the way that he might have expected it when uh, he left uh, uh, the side of Mark Cavendish a couple of years ago.